leaving Kingswood and it looks like there's a load of boats behind us who are about to leave. I was just talking to the boat who was moored behind us that um, they're all going down to Warwick today. So beeping's back. The beeping's back. I've no idea why the beeping's back. I should investigate that later. I think this might be just be a while it's warming up. Is it just while you're warming up? Is it? No. Anyway, it's a new alternator. Bastard. Right, so yeah. Give them a, a little heads up that we're coming. Grand Union. Nice day for it. Kingswood. Hatton. Here we come. It's a bit of a sorry sight. You might remember I said exactly the same thing as we were coming up this way last year. What a great shame. That's uh, well, at least one old traditional wooden working boat there. I'll try to get a decent photo. A bad photo. Right, and I'll get back into the middle of the cot. And uh, we're just coming up to Shrewley Tunnel. Um, just around a bend a little bit. And uh, you remember last year when we came through it appeared very, very haunted. Well, it didn't appear haunted yet. Um, steam coming out of it, or mist coming out of it, which is probably, you know, don't know, hot summer day. Who knows? We'll see whether it's still haunted when we get to it in a minute. Shrewly Tunnel. I don't know if it's haunted, but The girls on the back of that Anglo Welsh um, didn't seem to enjoy it very much. Didn't seem particularly smiley either. <laughs> Still, nice of them to leave Cinderella <laughs> for a while. This is one of those where the tunnel itself. It's probably easier to to navigate via the screen on the phone rather than because <laughs> the screen on the phone picks out all the detail an awful lot better. I'm gonna get wet. I just got wet. A <laughs> cute. This will make for a bit of a boring video if I film all the way through. So I won't. I am going to be soaking by the time we get out of this tunnel. <laughs> ah, oh God. All we need now is the ghost. Ah, yuck. Oh, oh dear. Ah. Oh, there we are for people who like <laughs> like the symbolism of tunnels. All sorts of Freudian Freudian comments spring to mind 
all too easily. See on here how wet it were in there. Beautiful. So there we have Shrewley Tunnel, boys and girls. Oh, and nice and bright. We come out. Remember to turn off the navigation lights and headlight, and we're back out into the sun. Isn't that lovely, boys and girls? Shrewley Tunnel, and one of the hanging barbed wire things. That if you uh, if you were to have the misfortune not to notice would tear your face to shreds because Canal and River Trust don't clear that sort of thing they don't think it's important there you go four days in when we first dig in about Canal and River Trust it's pretty good going for me isn't it so we are at the top lock of Hatton Fly I'm not going to do a time lapse because I forgot to bring uh, forgot to bring the GoPro Bev dropped it off but I forgot to bring it but you've seen it anyway if you want to see the if you want to see the uh, time lapse go and look at last year's videos and play it backwards oh that's nice we've got a lock keeper keeping lock how nice is that uh, I think we're about eight or nine down I don't know and look a couple of boats coming up well boys and girls this is fairly sure the last lock on the Hatton flight so we set off first lock about half 11 it's now half 2 14.34 half past 2 what can I call it so um, we've done all those locks on the Hatton flight in three hours stunning and we're sharing the last three locks with another boat that's made it easier look at that three hours to do the Hatton flight there we have it boys and girls three hours to do the hat and flight and again what a beautiful day you can't really fault the weather I don't think it rained at all last year it hasn't done this year some things remain the same this guy was moored here last year <laughs> which I'm not sure I want to be moored right under a this is an A road or a motorway bridge it's cooler, I suppose. Definitely cooler, but yeah. Not gonna get any sunburn. So now I think we've got a couple more locks. And then we're headed it's a three more locks I think I'm fairly sure Simon said there's three locks and it ends up next to a pub I can't remember I wasn't really paying a great deal of attention because um, I knew we'd be plodding on so we weren't really going to be mooring a few more locks to do yet before we get down to Napton Junction or Wigram's turn or whatever it's called which is where we're going to be safely abandoning little mustn't grumble tomorrow 
glorious day. Molly, is it a glorious day, mate? That was the last lock for today. So we've done all those locks. We left at, uh, what time did we leave? Uh, Nine-ish. And, um, and we are now clear of all the locks at half past three. I think that's pretty good going, that. Royal Leamington Spa. Made really good time getting here. I can't believe we got down through um, the hat and fly. Well, actually, all, all of those locks in three hours. I mean, that was that was pretty pretty monumental. So Charlotte is going to go back to Lapworth to collect the car. She's going back by train because some of the um, some of the uh, <laughs> towpath was pretty unpassable so then we're going to go for something to eat and tomorrow down to Napton Junction Wigram's Turn Marina where we'll be leaving Little Mustn't Crumble here for nearly two weeks but it's secure and uh, safe and everything I'm not sure where we're going to be going after that obviously we're going to be going up the Oxford Canal um, but I'm not sure where we'll be aiming to leave little old mustn't crumble obviously we should do some planning beforehand so for now on day four Possibly, don't know what I'll say underneath. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, little wibble about how brilliant we uh, got down through Hatton Flight. Till next time, cheers.